Hi, in this video, we'll go over how to search for incidents. First, click incidents in the top navigation bar, then click search incidents. This will take you to the search incident form. Here you can fill in the various search criteria that will be used to filter on the incident or incidents that you wish to look for. For example, if you're a state user, you can modify this fire department ID field to only look for incidents under a particular fire department or fire department group. If you're a fire department user, this field will be inaccessible. You can filter on incidents by year or by quarter, or you can filter on incidents within an incident date range. For example, I want to look at incidents from January 1st, 2021, two incidents up to February 2nd, 2021. I can search for an incident with a particular incident number or exposure number. When it comes to validity, I can choose to see all the incidents or only valid incidents or invalid incidents, no activity incidents or valid and no activity incidents just by clicking these buttons. Let's say I wanted to filter on all the incidents that had an incident type value starting with 115 and ending at 120. I can click within this incident type from field to bring up a code lookup menu where I can see all the incident type codes that are available. Let's click 115 here and then let's click on 120 here. If I only cared about incidents with an incident type of 115 or higher, then I can leave this field blank. Alternatively, if I only cared about all incidents up till a particular incident type value, then I can leave this field blank. Similar to how you can specify an incident type range, you can do the same exact thing with the property use from and property use to fields. Lastly, you can specify the incident data version of the incidents and whether or not the incidents were released or unreleased. At any point, you can press the clear button here to reset the form so that you can start over if you need to. For this example incident search, I'm going to look for all incidents within Virginia in the year 2020 and whose incident type is 123. Let's click the search button to actually perform the search. At the bottom of the page, you should now see a section called incident search results. Here, it'll show you a total count of how many incidents fit the above criteria, as well as a table containing the search results. Each row is an incident. Let's look at this first incident here. We see its incident number is 0010293. Its associated fire department ID is 76,000. Its incident date was from September 8th, 2020. Its release status is U or unreleased. Its validity is I or invalid and its data version is 5.0. To actually see the page for that incident, you can click on the incident number, which is a link that will take you to the incident. Alternatively, you can right click on that link and then choose the option that allows you to open that link in a new tab. This is convenient because it allows you to keep this search page. Now let's go open that incident. As you can see, this is the edit incident form for that incident. The key information here matches what was shown in the table for this incident. If you want to refine your search criteria, you can click this advanced search criteria link at the bottom of the search incident form. You'll then see additional incident search criteria fields. These fields mainly have to do with the location and geography of the incident. For example, you can enter the street or highway, the city or the zip code. Let's do another example search. This time, let's look at incidents from October 1st, 2018 to the current day, and let's click search. This time, 125,858 incidents match the criteria. However, the system will only return 500 incidents in the search results. All the records that are returned will be split into multiple different pages. Each page will show 10 records. You can navigate between the different pages by simply clicking on the page number down here. So this is the seventh page, this is the eighth page, etc. You can also click on the previous or next buttons to go between the pages. If you want to see more than 10 records per page, you can click this drop down here and then select 25, 50, or 100 if you want to see even more incidents. In this video, we learned how to use incident search criteria to filter and find the incidents that we want to look for.